Purdue's Office of Technology Commercialization works to move Purdue University's innovations to the public. One such discovery is SpeakAll, an iPad application that helps improve communications between children like David, who struggles with severe nonverbal autism, and his parents. A recent study by the Centers for Disease Control reports that one in 50 children have some form of autism. Stephen Bowden, a Purdue chemical engineering professor, and Diane Bowden in Purdue's Office of the Provost have used the Speak All app for their 11-year-old son who is impacted by a severe speech and language impairment, among other autistic symptoms. David has been using the Speak All app for just over a year, and his ability to communicate has improved dramatically. So what we found is that he was building real sentences with the Speak All interface that we weren't getting no matter how many times we mimicked the behavior we wanted. It wasn't the same as this interface that he could control. And so it helped us to build in him full sentences, more meaningful, more interesting sentences, which led to more meaningful, interesting communication. It was teaching him the mechanism of communicating. Dr. Oliver Wendt, a Purdue University assistant professor of speech, language, and hearing sciences, helped develop the app with students in Purdue's Engineering Projects and Community Service, or EPICS. There are varying levels of autism severity. One of the most severe levels is nonverbal autism, where the child or young adult doesn't have sufficient natural speech or language to meet their daily communication needs. And Speak All teaches them an initial symbol vocabulary that they can then expand into forming simple sentences such as I want cookie or I want the blue versus the yellow uh, food snack, for example. Most young children with severe autism learn communication by using a picture communication book. What that means is they learn to pick up a graphic symbol card from the picture book and then they exchange that in return for a desired item. And we've done research in my lab on these strategies for many years. And when the iPad came out, we thought we can easily create an interface that allows to do the same thing, but in a more simpler and less cumbersome way. And we can put this interface together and put it out there on all types of tablet devices. Ryan Schneider and Dorsey Armstrong, both associate professors in Purdue's Department of English, have used the Speak All app with their daughter, Mallory, age seven. She started using the Speak All app just a few months ago. So the Speak All is much simpler and easier for her to negotiate, to manage, um, and she is able to pick up how you're supposed to use it really, really quickly. And she likes it because it is so simple in terms of its interface, because it used to be such a struggle for her just to explain to us her basic needs and wants. So this makes it much easier. We currently have a study going on where moms and dads take over the role of the trainer and they successfully learn to introduce Speak All to their child. And that has a very positive effect on this, this interaction, these bonding behaviors between parents and their children. And we also do research on the neurophysiological effects of such interventions. And we've done some neuroimaging on the effects of uh, Speak All on the developing brain in autistic learners. And we found that there's even an effect on the neurophysiological level, that brain activity before and after intervention changes and gets to a more normalized level. Jeff Wallace, a neuropsychologist, and Sally Wallace, a Purdue professor of visual and performing arts, have used the Speak All app with their son Ian, age 15. For most people, an autistic child kind of comes into their lives and suddenly they're faced with all of these different challenges. I think that Speak All is a really straightforward approach to teaching communication to children. And I think that's really useful in lots of environments where you can't always have as much specialization in training and specialization in, um, in learning. A free version of Speak All is already available for immediate download on the iTunes Store and the premium version will be released in late summer or early fall of 2013. We are currently developing the next app that is picking up those learners that have successfully mastered Speak All and this new app is called Speak More. It helps the child first increase vocabulary, learn new words and symbols. And overall, what Speak More is going to do is it will allow the child to create more complex utterances on their tablet devices. In the meantime, children like David, Ian, and Mallory continue to benefit from Speak All. There are more than 400 innovations from Purdue researchers available for licensing through Purdue's Office of Technology Commercialization. 
To learn more, visit otc-prf.org.